Welcome to episode 195, 195, almost to 200 of Clarity Compressed. I'm Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. Today, we're going to talk about three little words. I see you. You. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So this phrase, I see you, not I see you intensive care unit, but I S E E Y O U is a phrase that I, I guess I've only really been hearing for the last couple of years, two, three, four years, maybe, but I feel like I've been hearing it more lately, like in the last 12 to 24 months. And it really impacted me in a new way just uh, about a month or two ago when I got a letter in the mail. And the letter was from an organization called NAMAD, which is the National Association of Minority Auto Dealers. So uh, the auto dealers in the country that are owned, uh, dealerships who are owned and run by minority groups of people, African-Americans, Hispanics, uh, Native American, and so on and so forth. And um, it was a letter of recognition and letting me know that I won the 2021, or I was awarded the 2021 Diversity Advocacy Award. And I'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going down to Miami. I'm going to accept in person at their annual membership meeting. Just have some really, really great friends there. And they gave it to me because over the last, over the COVID season, they just recognized that I've done a lot to help that community uh, just be better and improve. And what it made me feel in that moment was recognized. And I haven't really been given any awards or anything like that. No, not actually, not, not that I can remember. So really, this is kind of a new feeling for me. But the feeling of recognition is really somebody saying, I see you. And they're saying, I see what you're doing. I acknowledge what you're doing is a good thing. And I want to encourage you with that. And now I'm thinking of, of some other times when I've seen the phrase or heard the phrase used. I don't know that I've ever used it before myself, but that when people say, like, you do something, be like, I see you. I see you. Right? I see what you're doing. Other people might not see it, but I do. I notice you. I acknowledge you. I understand what you're doing. I understand how you're doing a good thing. And how that, that recognition made me feel in the moment was really good because I don't typically do things for the recognition. Sometimes I do, right? Sometimes I do. I wish I did it less. I think ideally speaking, I wouldn't do anything for recognition. I would do it all out of a selfless mentality. But I still do things for recognition. But as I try to do less for recognition and try it more for the principle of it, the point of it, the heart behind it, it feels really good when people acknowledge it. That's how you know you're getting through. And so those three words, I see you, made a big impact on me over the last, I don't know, six weeks. And I'm sure it'll make another deeper impact when I go in person and spend some time with the name ad community. I know it's going to go even deeper. And it made me think that, shoot, I want to be somebody that sees other people. I want to be somebody that acknowledges something that they are doing. And I'm just going to start using that phrase. I'm going to start using that phrase. I'm going to speak. I see you. I see you. I want to make that part of my regular vernacular because I think as you encourage people, not only does it help them have a better day, it may help them to get through maybe a tough time that they're in or some mental roadblocks that they're in, but it also trains me to start looking for opportunities to encourage people, looking for opportunities to see things in other people that I wouldn't usually see because I believe that that has a reciprocal effect in my life, in the life of my family, the people I get to work around the industries I'm a part of, the content I create, because I want to be the kind of person that has that perspective, that has that clarity, that the work of other people and the good work and the good motion of other people is actually going to benefit everything that I'm trying to do. And having the perspective of, ah, the more I see other people, the more I encourage other people, the more I myself will be encouraged. There's somebody who I've really understood uh, just in this weekend in, in a new way, is this man, Glenn Lundy. If you don't know about him, go to glennlundy.com, G-L-E-N-L-U-N-D-Y.com. Glenn has just wrapped up, just last Friday, wrapped up a thousand episodes of his morning show, Rise and Grind. And basically, what he has done for the last three plus years 
has had a morning live stream show at 5.30 a.m. every single weekday without fail for a thousand episodes. And when you drop into that show, you can still go see the, the tapes, but there's something about it when you're live and in the morning and you drop in and you would hear him speaking encouragement, acknowledging people that he noticed extraordinary people doing extraordinary things or ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And he would encourage, it would just, even as he was doing it to other people, it made me feel better. It made me feel that more was possible. It made me believe that I can do it too. If they can do it, I can do it too. And so I wanna take a cue from that. What I learned from him, Glenn is a great example of looking around and telling people, I see you, I see you, keep doing it. You're doing a good thing, you can do it. You're special, you're a child of God, right? As he would say, you're the creator of everything. And so I just am making this podcast right now to share that with you and let you know that a lot of you on social media that follow along that interact with me on LinkedIn, especially LinkedIn, I'm on LinkedIn a lot, um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, that I see you. I do. I really do. I look at likes and shares and comments and DMs. I see you. My man, he always comes up in these podcasts. My man, Bobby Rosa, I see you. You're doing a good thing and I know it's tough. I know being out there every day, working with your hands, designing some of the best custom pools I've ever seen, not being afraid of the work. I see you. I see you. Keep it up. And I'm going to ask you to hold me accountable because I'm going to start using that phrase more and more and more because of what I've just realized it's done in me. And you know what? I'm going to put this out here. I want to start doing it in my own home. It's the most difficult for me to do it in my own home. I don't know if it's just because it's familiarity, but in my own home to let my wife know and my kids know, like, ah, you're doing a great job. I see you. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you really wanted to do there, even though it didn't work out, whatever it is. I want to do that to the people I work with, to the pe directly, like in the same company, but also in other companies in the industry. I'm putting the flag in the ground. Episode 195 is like a flag in the ground moment for me. I see you. So whatever you're doing this week, I hope that you in turn take step away from listening to this or watching this and find somebody today. Find somebody within the next five minutes because if you don't, you'll forget. Send an email, send a text message, make an encouraging phone call and let somebody know that you see them. And before you know it, that's gonna come back to you and we can all move forward with that new clarity together. So thank you for spending time with me today. I will see you next week. We came to fight.